Hello, sports card fans. This is R.A. Rowell for ThePit.com. Uh, today is April 6th, 2020. We're doing a market report <coughs> about uh, the retired basketball players that sold over the weekend on The Pit. So plenty of sales over the weekend, but we're going to focus in this particular uh, sports card market movers report on the uh, <coughs> Michael Jordan Fleer sticker that sold. And there's also a, a Larry Bird Magic Johnson rookie that sold as well. We'll look at a couple other cards too. So first we're going to take a look at the 86 BGS 85. So this is the, uh, the 86 Fleer sticker. So of course many people are familiar with the 86 Fleer uh, regular card. Uh, but the Fleer sticker in particular has been uh, become a, a very nice alternative uh, to the 86 Fleer card. Uh, the stickers are actually very, uh, pretty rare in top condition. Um, we did have one of these sell uh, just yesterday for $995 on the pit. Uh, this is a card that typically, over the past week or so, has been selling between $1,100 and $1,300 on eBay. So <clears throat> the buyer on the pit definitely got a good deal on this card. Uh, there is still one holding the pit, so um, we'll see what that card inevitably is listed for and sells for. Uh, there was also a bid for 420, which is a bit low, um, but this card has gone up a, a lot recently. <clears throat> Jordan cards in general have been extremely hot, uh, partly in thanks to the uh, documentary that's coming out about the Bulls on ESPN. So <clears throat> if you're looking to get this card... Uh, <clears throat> You can always put in a bid for it. Uh, these cards are, as you've seen, they've been going qu very quickly recently, especially even in BGS 8.5. Next card we're going to look at is the uh, Magic and Bird uh, rookie card. Of course, the scoring leaders card that also features uh, Julius Irving. So this is the PSA 7. The PSA 7 is uh, the <clears throat> card that does typically see the most movement. So we have one sell for $495, so a little a little bit below the uh, current market value of this card, but not too far below. And see, in the last week, uh, we've seen a couple sell for $510, uh, $496, another for $560, um, and $539. So for the most part, these have been selling... Uh, for <clears throat> between five uh, five ten and five forty, uh, there was at the end of March a an outlier that sold for six eighty two, um, but then there was one right before that that sold for five twenty six. So that's a little bit of an outlier, uh, the six eighty two, and there was definitely a bidding war going on there. <clears throat> so. So the pit does have a couple more of these listed right now, one at 520 and one at 535. So uh, pretty fair, pretty pr fair prices, a little bit less current than the current listings on eBay. Uh, the pit is also buying this card very competitive for 450. Um, and there are is another bid also for 435. There are seven holdings of this card at the pit. So there are uh, several more available. And if you wish to put in um, even more <coughs> aggressive bid, uh, this card, is one that the pit does have quite a few of. Uh, so <clears throat> if this is a card you've been wanting to get into, um, it's a card that um, has been uh, tracking in price very, it, uh, one card that's actually been following this card very closely in price recently is the Luka Doncic uh, Panini Prism PSA 10. Uh, so, you know, if you're, if you're trying to decide between uh, the 80 tops uh, Magic Bird or the, uh, Luka Doncic, the 80 tops uh, is definitely the more uh, stable option, and this card very likely over time is probably going to uh, increase in value. Of course, you know, they're not making any more of these, um, <clears throat> whereas there are you know going to be obviously many more of the many more Luka cards being created over time, and there are just so many different options. Whereas <clears throat> you know Magic and Bird have this one option, so uh, this is a card that, with the way the market has been recently, I would say would could could see could see a growth all the way up to you know that 680 mark that we did see as an outlier. Um, could get we could get to that point. Um, <clears throat> so this is definitely a good a good long term hold. <clears throat> 
So another car we're going to take a look at today is the Patrick Ewing uh, 1986 Fleer PSA 9. Uh, so the last one of these that sold was uh, over the weekend for $195 on the pit. Um, but this card has been skyrocketing in price recently. Uh, the last couple that sold on eBay were between uh, 266 and 289. So um, just to give you an idea of how quickly this card has grown in price. The pit does still have two copies of this card. Uh, so <clears throat> if this is a card that you want to aggr uh, pers pursue aggressively, I'd definitely consider making a bid on one of the two remaining copies on the pit. This card has been growing a lot, much like many of the other 86 player cards, but this one in particular has uh, seen a big jump recently. And lastly, we'll take a look at Scotty Pippen's uh, 88 Fleer PSA 7. So this is a PSA 7. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of the PSA 8s and PSA 9s move recently. But even the 7s started to pick up steam. So this card, um, just a couple weeks ago, was selling between 20 and 25 on eBay. And we actually had one sell for $33 um, over the weekend. Uh, the pit does still have one more holding this card. So if you want to make a, an aggressive bid for this card. So this card, um, you know, this card is growing very quickly. Much much like uh, the Michael Jordan cards have been growing recently, Scottie Pippen, of course, you know, being a major part of those Bulls teams, um, has definitely uh, seen a bump as well. Uh, so, <clears throat> Scottie Pippen, this card is definitely one to keep an eye on. Even in PSA 7, um, people are looking to stock up on this card. Uh, so, definitely keep your eye on 88 uh, Fleer Pippins. So, that'll be it for today's uh, look at the... Uh, <clears throat> 80s players uh, which which of these cards do you think has the most upside of all of these four cards we looked at today i'd love to hear your thoughts on this so that's it for this sports card market movers report from the pit.com